Many people enjoy video lottery terminals, or VLTs. Before play, most set a money limit. That is the amount they intend to spend. Difficulties arise when people exceed their limit. To keep your risk low, it's important to know how VLTs work. The following illustration describes how a VLT works with a simple bag of marbles. To begin, we'll have 19 losing white marbles and a single red winning marble. In order to make the outcome random, the bag is given a good shake. Now, there is no way to predict where the red marble is. On each play of the VLT, your bet allows you to reach into the bag and take out one marble. Since there are 20 in all, your chance of winning is 1 in 20. You take out a marble, and it's white. You've lost this time. Now, stop and ask yourself what the chance of winning on your next bet is. There are 19 marbles left in the bag, 18 white and 1 red. It would be natural to conclude that your chances have improved. That is, you might think your chance of winning is now 1 in 19. However, this is not the case. Before your next play, you must first place the losing marble back in the bag, bringing the chance of winning back down to the same as your first draw, 1 in 20. No matter how many times you draw, your chance of winning remains exactly the same. It never gets any better. This is the reload feature. A VLT reloads after every play on every VLT. The losing marble always gets put back in the bag. But, you say, at 1 in 20, you'll win sooner or later, so it's not that bad a deal. However, on real VLTs, the chance of winning a jackpot is much lower. It varies from one VLT to the next, but on some VLTs, your chance of winning the jackpot can be as low as one in a million. To better understand your true chances, imagine a bag holding one million marbles, and buried in the million marbles is the single red jackpot. For each and every play, your chance of winning the jackpot always stays at about one in a million. Past wins or losses have no bearing on the outcome of the next spin. Thus, persistence at a particular VLT game does not guarantee you'll win. Given what you've learned, here are two habits for playing responsibly. 1. Set your limit. Before heading to the VLTs, decide how much money you can afford and are prepared to lose. 2. Remember the odds. When tempted to go over your limit, remember the odds are stacked against you. The likelihood is you will lose.